welcome to the property show i'm jay shri kurup i'm editor mbtv i have with me mr niranjan hira nandani he represents uh, the industry as asocham chief and he also represents naradco thank you sir for joining us mr hira nandani today we're talking about a three month moratorium and consumers are worried whether that means a long delay in the possession of their projects are there technologies that can help the developers fast track the projects once the work gets going see we are using technology we are changing the shuttering we are changing ready made rmc earlier used to do mix on the sides uh, we do shuttering which is much lighter much this uh, we have different forms of shuttering which can go very very fast uh, we use blocks instead of bricks uh, uh, you do high tension um, slabs so all these things which we have done already brought technology into the sites in terms of new technology now this can further improve by getting prefabricated buildings that can be just brought and like a mechano set complete the building all this will happen provided labor cost becomes prohibitive or you don't get labor which is what is happening now so depending on how much labor is available and what price it is available more and more companies will uh, mechanize their work which will mean less labor requirement is there we will mechanize to a certain extent those which are heavy lifting items but skill items i still think that our labor is wonderful they are skill and they will be able to deliver as much as you want uh, but the migratory nature of uh, labor especially during pre and post monsoon period is a challenge which we will face hence uh, reskilling yes so reskilling is a norm you just can't do without reskilling uh, whether you bring in new types of shuttering you find the easiest ways to do plaster uh, plumbing because new materials have come into plumbing and other areas electrical lines completely new all the items needs reskilling to be done for the person uh, because uh, times have changed and uh, it's easier there is much less heavy lifting which was there earlier you have very 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 little of that it's mostly mechanized and i think uh, you're absolutely correct the more we do it uh, in terms of skilling the better it is they will get paid better and we will be able to get better quality output so a lot of developers are saying that with this 3 month moratorium if money doesn't come come in work uh, keeping work continuing is a difficult proposition how does that work and is the government stepping in somewhere jayshree uh, you are absolutely correct it is my expectation that tomorrow uh, the prime minister will announce some sort of infusion of funds for the purposes of industry and uh, we are hoping that this announcement takes place because it's extremely important for us to get this kind of push from the government uh, as to the kind of financial package america has announced it almost 10% of the gdp of america which means almost to the size of india gdp is added on as a inclusion into additional incentives to be given uh, various other countries even australia which is not affected has given singapore has given uh, countries like bangladesh have now given so they have even paid all the workers who have been there and stand on the sites they've been compensating those workers even the textile workers some of the indian companies have got textile industries in bangladesh their workers are being compensated by the government for this period so i think all in all some infusion in terms of incentives must come from the government and it's likely to come in the next couple of days hopefully tomorrow uh so uh, when mr rajneesh kumar of the sbi was talking one of the things he said is that uh, you have to quickly complete the stock and liquidate stock is that is that possible and what do you have to do to do that see the, the it, there is no one uh, method that Uh, answers all situations different de- developers are in different conditions uh, many are over leveraged under the circumstances the sale position is bad so opposite uh, obviously what you are suggesting is right uh, reduce the prices and try to make the sale but the answer to that is not so simple 
because you have section 43 ca of the income tax act which prohibits you really to sell anything below 10% of the ready reckoner rate so i don't see that easily happening unless the finance minister decides to actually withdraw that section so that's one problem that we see so prices may fall up to 10% of the ready reckoner rate which also may not happen in all the cases because they may have been high cost land high cost purchaser but uh, the state bank chairman is right it's necessary to look at being more liquid a position than to be non liquid right uh, so when developers uh, who have different uh, projects in different stages uh, will they have to prioritize that the ones that are closer to completion happens faster well i don't think you can really do that under the present regulations of rera because you have given a date for all of them so all of them will be given 3 months extension but uh, hence i don't see uh, though it would be under normal circumstances more sensible to do what you're saying jashri but i don't think that is legally feasible so you will have to push most of the projects in fact all the projects to completion especially if you have sold some tenements there uh, sir last week we had talked to a uh, representative from uh, bang uh, the uh, um, maharashtra karnataka and delhi ncr one of the things that they did mention was that uh, they would they have to use less workers on the um, to maintain the social distancing so they said we'll work in shifts we'll put put in more shifts will that happen the answer is yes obviously you can always accommodate when you have a problem obviously you must try and see whatever are the best practices you can do and change the practices which you normally are doing in order to meet the circumstances life is important to save and hence whatever you can do in social uh, distancing whether it's reduction of labor at a particular site keeping the distances in terms of the workforce uh, checking their temperatures uh seeing to it that uh, if they are not feeling well in order to get them medically examined i think this will become a standard practice across the industry so it's not a matter of choice i think it's it should be made mandatory if it is not going to be made mandatory i think as an option uh developers should do all this uh can you imagine if uh, hundreds and thousands of laborers were affected with corona virus on your site it would be horrible so it's better to catch it in the beginning and as far as possible to try and see this is time and the cost of uh, um, ensuring health of uh, workforces uh, who bears that the government or the uh, developer no i think the developer is bearing it i don't know what kind of incentives will be given in terms of from the government side uh, we are looking forward to it uh, and see any every country in the world has given a very strong stimulus package as yeah. far as uh, we are concerned we have suggested 10% of gdp now uh, the uh, certain other ones like fiki has suggested 7% of gdp now whether it's 7 or 10 just now government has given only 0.71 so i think we are far away from 7 and we are certainly far away from our figure of more than 10 so it's all about uh, how the government sees it uh, they fo- focused on the health of the people first and now as uh, niti aayog uh, vice chairman has mentioned very clearly uh, that it should be the economics of the country otherwise uh, it will be difficult so we need to have health but you also need to have work right uh, so is there uh, do you see any more new projects coming up or will the next year or so will be all about completing the projects that are there see i'll tell you it always seems at this point of time that nothing new will come up all this changes once the opportunities of the future come up and you know that situations are going to change those who have the land those who have the capital those who have the debt or line of credit will make a start so do what you're saying is absolutely correct and i'm not doubting what you say but you'll be surprised things change so fast a uh, situation may become happy and uh, then you'll all feel like starting so maybe by christmas uh, of this year you may see a different thing and 2021 may be different however if the situation continues that we need to extend and extend the lockdown in different ways 
then of course uh, uh, that could be another problem and we could be somewhere to march april of next year when you could start new project but having said that and having gone through depressions the uh, need of housing is always going to be there uh, in fact people are saying the houses they have been living in are too small because now having been locked in they all find it uncomfortable to have the family members at their uh, you know so too close to them for comfort so many of them have actually said uh, you know we need a bigger flat we need a bigger apartment when we need one extra room to work also from and uh, both of us are working we need one one room each uh, so all that is also happening so it's not necessarily a negative things change and this will make life change completely what is your um, advice to consumers at this point of time pa consumers are panicking well i think there is always going to be a panic in the short run people are going to be afraid but that's a natural reaction to the kind of situation which has happened and i'm not uh, I'm not for a moment telling me don't be afraid or don't be fearful obviously that's silly on my part if i say so but the thing is to prepare for the worst and hope for the best we always have to work conservatively in the next few weeks uh, but this will turn into an optimism once they realize that we have been able to fight uh, successfully the corona virus and at some point of time this will end i remember the time when there was an h1n1 we thought the world will die and the sars also started from the east and we thought it going to hit us and our country and continents could be in danger it didn't happen but really uh, this one is probably the worst i've ever seen so we'll have to go through this definitely in a more conservative manner in the beginning but remember in the long run this all changes i've seen many of them and this too will change i promise you uh so when you look at uh, the world leaders when they address uh, their uh, workforces they have said use this time to upskill yourself use this time to uh, make sure that you're more relevant to the modern workforce uh has the construction industry any such ideas in mind what can the workers do to upskill you have no choice uh, jayshree what has happened is very very clear uh whether it is communications which we are doing just now through uh, through zoom or skype and things like that whether it is conferences that we are holding whether we have webinars yesterday's webinar we had almost 2000 people listening in uh, uh we are expecting tomorrow also similar number when mr deepak parekh will be speaking so you are going to see a lot of changes taking place talk about education uh my both my schools right from standard 1 to standard 12 are uh, uh, being taught on through the, the web in fact they are doing dance classes for the first second third standard they are having music lessons so all that is taking place through the new media and uh, it's completely changed so too in the colleges the communication the system the meetings uh, the uh, the teaching the examination all that can become online and i think uh, you needed uh, this covid story of 2020 to make that change happen quickly uh, board meetings i've been sitting on board meetings sitting in my house and it's happening it's happening very well in fact the concentration is fairly good i thought it wouldn't happen but it's happening so i think all in all a uh, paradigm in types of construction technology of construction speed of construction capital inputs all this is going to take a new world completely and how much time do you think it will uh, before its impact can be felt the, the corona impact on the real estate industry it's already hitting it uh, i don't think you have to wait for it it's already done it's in the dumps but uh, uh my view is that whenever you have a steep fall there's going to be a steep rise the question is how soon can we do it and that's where the stimulus package will become extremely important once we hear the stimulus package either from the prime minister or the finance minister i think we'll have a more better idea much better idea as to what is it that uh, the country will be able to turn around faster and uh, i think it's going to happen but uh, the question is Uh, in the short run we all have to be extremely cautious 
with our monies, with our expenditure, and to see that uh, we are not stuck or troubled because of this situation today. Uh, will it have an impact on our uh, affordable housing target? Not the target, not the target. I don't think it will affect the target because the target will be achieved maybe uh, six months later, uh, but uh, that will achieve very easily uh, because you see the kind of benefits given under affordable housing are huge. You have an ATIB, which is tax free. You have a 3% interest subvention. Uh, you have GST, which is 1%. Uh, so all the benefits put together is a huge beneficial situation on affordable housing. Yes, there can be delays. Of course, there can be uh, because the cost of, uh, you know, by the time the workers come back and the settlements of all these older accounts take place, you have to bring in new people, new ideas, new contractors. And of course, there will be a time where the still will be smaller. But that I think is about, it's a, it's a six month story, which I think we will have to face. So we saw, we all saw, uh, uh, you know, uh, groups of workers, migrant workers walking back home uh, in the, uh, because of the coronavirus care, uh, the problem in the urban areas. Has it exposed the fact that we have not created enough institutionalized rental housing for uh, our, the uh, base of the pyramid? And will we address this? Jayashree, you're absolutely correct. We have so much opportunity left. We can construct so much more. There is so much thing. 50% of our people live in Jopatpatis. That's an opportunity. Transit workers, all these people who are coming there, migratory people who want to come into Mumbai six months, 12 months in a year, but they want to go back and uh, things like that. So yes, uh, all this is going to happen. But earlier, our laws prevented us to do it. Now, we don't have enough incentives. I think if you package both by making an amendment of the law, which is already put up on the website of uh, the housing ministry, as well as to arrange necessary funding availability in order to make such houses happen, I think it will work because you need to come up with innovative ideas to solve the problem of India. You can't have one glove fits all. I think we will have to have gloves of various sizes and shapes and dimensions in order to make it very successful. Uh, the question is, uh, who pells this cat and how fast do we do it? What are the incentives to be provided for rental housing? What are the innovative schemes that we can possibly come about? Can the builders, developers and institutions and companies and corporates and finance companies and HFIs also participate in such ventures? Why not? Uh, so, what will what will be the future of uh, co-working versus uh, traditional workspaces and co-living versus traditional rental spaces? Do you see that an opportunity here? See, every sector is growing. My view is that the traditional sector will grow. This sector will also come up. So, I don't think they are conflicting with each other. Many people are talking to me as if you substitute one for the other and that because you are having co-living, you don't need to make so much houses. That's not true. You will have to make these houses which will be sold and these houses which will be co-working and there will be these houses which will be rental separately. So in fact, the growth of the industry will happen in a triple sort of way, not a single way. Right. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. A pleasure talking to Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Jayashree. Thanks. Please subscribe to Magic Bricks on YouTube and click the bell icon to get new videos.